Welcome folks, Flip Knot here on another chilly day in Florida. Oh, you don't know what cold is. Oh. <laughs> oh man, it must really suck to not live in Florida. <laughs> suck it, nerds. Look, man, the worst part about, like, it getting cold in Florida is because it stays like this. It stays nice and sunny. So your brain doesn't attach to cold. Or at least where it's, like, devastating snowstorms and freaking wherever the hell you are up north that isn't here. At least your brain goes, snow, cold. Okay, we're there, but we're going to stay there. But for me, I have to look at all this beautiful sunshine all the time, and it's like... I wonder how cold it is outside. Oh man, it's only 50 degrees. Ah, chilly, I need to put on a sweater. Currently on my way over to Weems Motor Co to go hang out with Jared, Mr. Weems himself. He's currently in the middle of building the Hollywood Run motorcycle. He just got in a bunch of parts. He's gonna show me how to put together an engine or make me stay far, far away from the motorcycle as he does very important things. If he knows good for him, because for whatever reason, apparently he trusts me. If I'm not wrong, he has to have this motorcycle ready for Chopper Town, which I believe is February 19th. I'll put it all right over here because I don't know right now. I am focused on riding my motorcycle, which I'm already not super good at either. Apparently, there's campgrounds at Chopper Town, so definitely going. Because thanks to my good friend Aaron over in California, I got a new hatchet. <laughs> Man, I promise Aaron that when I hurt myself with it, I will bless the hatchet with my blood and your name. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Cause you know, it happens. I love the smell of coffee roasting. It smells like burnt popcorn, but I love it. It's what you get around here in Ebor. It's fantastic guys, super awesome. So I swear over the last three days, I've made the equivalent of two whole videos on four different occasions. I've just been like, false starting on videos where I made like 70% of a video with Bob Fett and Dave TV the other day I just missed the last part of the day that kind of tied everything together so most of that's gonna end up on the scrap heap unless I figure out how to magically add another day or another hour to it which I'm gonna try tried one yesterday started talking about my new quad lock mount decided uh, I'm not feeling it today went home I gotta take old Bessie to freaking get her first 1K service tomorrow over at Burt's Barracuda, so that's gonna be a completely different video. I've actually been surprisingly busy since we got back from the camping trip. As soon as we got back, like, Stick Lizzie was in town, the Blockhead guys came into town, Give Town. It was just how to, how to edit the freaking camping video, which was 300 gigs worth of video footage. God, I need to slow down with all this stuff sometimes. But now it feels like everything is going back into its normally scheduled progress just slowing down a bit. <laughs> oh, my gas light came on. Awesome. I'm not gonna do anything about it right now. I think that concludes the portion of this video where I just kinda just talk and talk. Random thoughts and stuff. Uh, get to Jared's house. I wanna listen to some tunes. See you folks there. Molten Sulfur. No, thank you. Come on, let me get away from the molten sulfur. Seriously, man, the freaking big rig is going big faster than you. It's molten sulfur you got me stuck behind. I'd rather get hit by molten sulfur than your slow ass. Get the Jared's house. The first thing out of his mouth was like, "I got something brand new, and I'm trying to make it look old." It's like, that, "No, that's not how this works, Jared." It is when you're when you have an old motorcycle, you can't have brand new parts on it. This is brand new. You spent so much time now making it look like it's old and new, new old. Oh yeah. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We're doing an unboxing. Yeah, let's do an unboxing. So this was I was like contemplating about getting this or not because. I wanted to keep the bike Can looking. Can I not show the bike? Yeah, you can show it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was I was trying to keep the bike. Well, let's put it in frame. <laughs> I keep telling everybody this is a budget build, and but I'm trying to make it as nice as possible with the least amount of money as possible. So I splurged on this one thing because if I would have left the other one on there, it would have been too old. 
So, this is the old tire, which is an Avon Speedmaster Original 21, but it's just a little worn out. Just a little bit. And oh, you're gonna keep the original tire on there? Yeah. So, instead, I got a Firestone. Instead, look at that. Same as our tire. No, it's not. <laughs> No, it's not. It's cooler. Chopper stuff. Chopper stuff. <laughs> Alright, so one of the reasons we're up here at Jared's house is because A, I want to play with all his toys, as always. But Jared has recently started a YouTube channel, which if you're watching me, there's no reason why you're not watching him. He's way more interesting than I am. <laughs> so go hit that button and do all that stuff and whatever it has to be done. Uh, but I'm gonna talk, uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about like YouTube and making ma movie magic. Brought like friction arms and clips and- New hats. New the, hats. New hat, new hat. On sale now, go get your own, cause they're awesome. But yeah, we're gonna start talking about like YouTube stuff and bike stuff and eventually one of these days he's gonna talk me into actually building my own chopper. Mm -hmm. So this is where your clutch cable hooks in and behind this is your clutch push rod. It goes across to your clutch. So as you shift, you see how that arm's automatically moving? The clutch. It just moves it out of the way. So yep. this engages. So it automatically pushes that push rod in just like that as you're shifting gears. Goes the other way. So as you shift the gears, it engages the clutch. Pretty cool, right? It's a genius. And people don't like this. What's wrong with people? They just used, got used to the way the way old things are. So, but yeah, I think. Yeah, that's old. I want one of those. <laughs> yeah, it's like super that's cool. So cool. Yeah. All right. So to make this interesting for you guys. And for me as well. Jared's gonna have me help him build this motor for content reasons at this point. Um, so yeah, you, if you wanna go see it, go go to this guy's channel. You'll have me breaking his fancy toys. All right, cheers. Working on motorcycles, getting drunk. Losing up the nerves for when I fuck up. I won't let you. So um, you know what a rocker box is? Yes, it's these. It's so those. Well, those, those are the rockers. The rockers. Mm -hmm. the push, does the push? Fancy picks. Fancy picks. You're gonna need them because this is not an easy job. This is uh, one of those tedious little things that it takes. I'm joking. I love. Patience. I love tedious things like that. All right. So it looks pretty much the same, right? I'm gonna go with yes, Alex. Okay. So the um, last time I had to clean something, I got a uh, breed clean in my eye. <laughs> Slow motion. Wah, wah, wah. And you gotta like spread it all the way around. Just like, yeah, there you go, lube it up. Cause you're gonna quickly discover you don't have a whole lot of room to do anything. Oh, I, I realized already. I can give you some needle nose pliers if it helps. Bitch, please, I got this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Stop, pause, pause the video. You missed the most important thing. If you're in my shop, you have to wear the apron. Look at that! Pieces. Look at that! But this kills me. I, I need like a piece of something to like not kick off the paper. Old bartender habits. Like I'm okay with the apron. I just need like a towel. Is this gonna be one of those like you should have done that first? Do it however you want to, buddy. Ah! Somebody figured a new trick out. <laughs> you have no idea how much fun I'm having right now. I fucking <laughs> love puzzles. This is just a giant puzzle to me right now. It is. To get it. Oh, you got it on there. Look at you. Proud of you, buddy. I have no idea how happy I am. Growing up to be such I'm a. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> growing up to be such a fine, outstanding young man. I'm very happy you maybe stopped to like look at it again by the other second. <laughs> but still. Okay. Line up. Get in line. Why are you not going in? Ah. Ah, ah he's figured out something out. I just figured I could just bully it in there. Yeah. Muscling these is not... Precision technology! <laughs> it's not the easiest way to do it. Mm, so says you. Have the plastic ended. Use the plastic, not the rubber. That's scary noises. 
I have two rocker boxes, caps. Those are rocker box caps, shiny things. Uh, put a, uh, one of the gaskets, the seals on it. Why does like screwing things on like scare the crap out of me? That's like, you cross there that, that engine's completely trashed now. And if you would have messed them up, I would have been really upset because those are super rare. Yeah, that's you're you're letting me do this. <laughs> All right. They don't need to be tight. So no? that yes, what, no. was that the intake or the exhaust rocker box? Mm. It could be either one, right? But we assembled it like it was an intake, intake side. Yep. One down. This will be the exhaust side. This is the front of the motorcycle. Yes. Um, and the reason I'm gonna have you put the the head on there, just kind of simulating, we'll use the bolts. I'm not gonna torque anything down, no head head gasket or anything. Just gonna simulate it. And I'm gonna leave the motor like that. It's still light before I start adding the cylinder, and the head, and all this. Okay. Like this head, pick it up. That is no joke. Jeez. That's a cast iron head, dude. <laughs> it's, it's like a motorcycle battery. Every time I pick it up, it's like, oh yeah, that's no, a motorcycle battery. It's like, nope. On the back. Oh my god! Rotate! Pick it up. I wasn't trying, I was just trying to see how heavy it was. I wasn't rotating it, but. Oh my god! It is not light. No. I wanted to see what it felt like to hold together. Oh my god, I pulled something. <laughs> it looks so pretty. Okay, what's going on? What's the fucking. Jeez, where's my cell phone? I swear to god, if I have to stop doing this, I'm gonna get angry. I'm gonna have like withdrawals. You have started an addiction. I love it, dude. I haven't. You have the opportunity to buy one. I'm just saying, dude. Oh, well, the cool part ain't happened yet. What are you talking about? You just, you, do you see how- About face. Do you see my face right now? There's almost a smile. <laughs> Grab that magnificent piece of awesomeness. <laughs> Point the intake towards the camera there. There you go. Or you can do that. You should point it towards the camera. That's fine. That's good, that's good. You're good. There you go. Well, cheers. Drink without me. I'll drink with you too. So last night, the sun went down and the conversation got good. Jared and I just started talking about future and other things like that. So the situation is this. Anybody who ever rides a motorcycle has always wanted to build a chopper. I don't care if it's a V-twin, a parallel twin, whatever. Everybody's always wanted to build a chopper at one point or another. Jared knows of a 57 pre-unit for sale for a very, very reasonable price. And I've been having this conflict in my head about buying it. I don't want to do one of those, like, guess what I bought, you know, reveal things. Let's just be straight up and honest here. The situation is, I want to take 2021 and travel. I want to take the bike up to Chicago. There's talks about going to Born Free in LA. I want to go to North Carolina. I want to do the East Coast. I just want to hit the road and do what people want to do on a motorcycle, but just do it. Makes sense, right? I wanna go spend a day or two in Atlanta. I wanna go spend a day or two in Louisville. I wanna go spend a day or two, you know, Austin, Texas. Austin might actually be a week. <laughs> I got friends out there and it's an amazing city. How's those, how's those heated hand grips? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Here, let me rephrase that. How's those hand grips? <laughs> so I very much reach a fork in the road. I can go travel and, and take my money and invest it in traveling and making travel videos, going to new cities, seeing a lot of friends I've been meaning to see for the longest freaking times that I've always said I was gonna go see. Or, you know, do I sit back and build a chopper? The thing is, is that this opportunity, I don't, I don't think my friendship with this guy over here is gonna go away anytime soon, but this is one of those like weird, cosmic, this is your opportunity moment. How many times in your life are you gonna have somebody who builds choppers and classic antique motorcycles come into your life the way that I got Jared here, fogging, who goes, I can find you this engine from the 50s and I know exactly how to build it, exactly how to make it run, I know how to do everything and you're not going to be spending more than $4,000. One of the things in the conversation we were having last night, it's like, it feels like how often do you get the opportunity to see an engine like this? 
And he makes a very good point. They've been around for 70 years. They might be around for another two more, okay? Calm down. It's not the most prized engine in the world. Like, you know, people aren't chasing per units. But at the same time, I still gotta finish the 48. I mean, it works, it runs. But I really wanna put a lot more TLC into that thing. I wanna put a sissy bar, better seat. I wanna put some bags on it. And I wanna take that thing on the ride. And it's, is the money better served there to put into love and care into that motorcycle that I really wanna do? Because if I get this pre-unit, a lot of my money and attention's gonna go there. Sourcing parts, finding parts, looking for parts. The 48's a modern Harley. It's easy to find those things. I feel like I owe it to the 48. I feel like it deserves redemption after what Celine Dion put her through. But at the same time, that whole cosmic thing of that guy is in my life and then this pre-unit and it's just watching him do it and having, like, I feel like yesterday was trickery on his part. It's like, come on, play with this and see how much you enjoy it. I don't know, folks. What do you think? Curious to think what you think. Should I build a chopper from scratch? <laughs> Little scratch at this point. I'll put up some pictures right about there. You'll see. That's what it looks like right now. Or do I take that money and I spend it on gas and lodging and food and go hit the road? Bert said I could take this thing across state lines. Well, speaking of Bert's, we're headed up there right now anyways. Uh, so that's where I'm going to end this video. That's probably going to be a completely different thing. If it's even anything, we have to talk business. Not the fun stuff. Uh, so you know how this works. Don't forget to like this video. Do not forget to subscribe. So folks, catch you on the flip side.